With most of the country already under extreme measures, it's clear that we need to do more together to bring this new variant under control while our vaccines are rolled out. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. You may only leave home for limited reasons permitted in law, such as to shop for essentials, to work if you absolutely cannot work from home, to exercise, to seek medical assistance, such as getting a COVID test, or to escape domestic abuse. How do guys? Um, and welcome to a slightly unusual edition of the Angler's Diary. So Monday the 4th of January, um, and that was Boris telling us all that we were once again going, uh, going into lockdown, uh, which I guess came as no surprise at all to any of us, really. Um, and of course, shortly after that, the worthies at the Angling Trust confirmed um, the bad news that fishing was to stop um, for the period of the lockdown. Um, my initial reaction to that, not something I really wanted to contemplate. So, um, at that point, I was in the final throes of editing um, a Roundup Files video for the Angler's Diary uh, for December. Uh, to be honest, my fishing sort of fizzled out prior to the Christmas festivities, such as they were. Um, that video would have consisted of um, a return trip to try and catch pike from the farm pond. Um, and whilst there was a little bit of excitement on that one, A bit of immediate excitement here guys. I've literally just swung that bait out and put the rod in the rest and the float decided to go for a wonder. Now that sardine is frozen solid. So there's a, a fish in there that is risking the need of dental work to be honest. If it, chomping down on that one. Having said that, the float has stopped moving, so, so perhaps it got the message. Let's just hope it's um, patient. <laughs> it's just going to sit there while, it, uh, while the sardine softens a bit, and then it can have its breakfast. <laughs> There was absolutely no excitement on yet another session of my local fishing um, hunting for a specimen perch. To be quite honest, I'm pretty fed up with that whole um, exercise and I suspect I'll consign that one to, uh, to the editing room floor. Uh, over the Christmas period, um, I did have time of course to think about how my early fishing during 2021 would develop. Um, Having made the decision to stay local, um, I needed to work out just exactly what sort of fishing I would concentrate on. And it did occur to me that um, it's years and years since I did any sea fishing. Um, and I'm within four miles of the Northumberland coast where I live, so um, I have plenty to choose from. Um, my sea fishing gear was locked away up in the loft of the garage. Um, and so I spent some of the, peri the holiday period digging it all out and having a look. And I even uh, took some exercise and went and had a look at the odd mark or two. So that brought us to yesterday, um, this is the 7th of January, when the Angling Trust issued another edict to tell us that their original indication that fishing was to stop had, was wrong. The government seemed to have changed their mind or somebody had changed their minds and all of a sudden we can go fishing again. So, um, good news. I mean, let's be, let's be right. Good news, albeit that we are we're required to fish locally. Um, so it's not impossible that uh, one of the next videos you see may be me paddling on the, um, on the Northumberland coast. If you've watched this one this far, thank you very much indeed. Um, can I wish you a very belated but very happy 
2021. Let's hope things improve as quickly as the boys in charge seem to think may be the case. Um, and I will see you soon, I hope. Thanks for watching. And as someone famously said over the Christmas period, And, and away! away.